Let me show you how we can use this new gradient type called Mesh Gradient in Affinity version 3. If you select Gradient tool in the vector mode, you cannot even use it. We need some kind of container to fill it with the gradient, like a text or a shape. So let me just very quickly draw a shape. It's filled by my default color, but I can now grab a gradient and I can use the gradient on it. By default, you got this linear gradient and it may use your default color as the base, but we can very quickly modify that. So here's my new gradient. And now, now I can change the type of the gradient. Here it is at the top. Be sure the gradient tool is still selected. Open type menu and you will see this new type called mesh gradient. Select that and now you will be able to relocate this color. You can use those nodes just like that. And you can also double tap to add additional nodes. This way you will be able to adjust how the colors blend in your gradient exactly because I can now change what's the color in this point that is currently active. Take a look. I can recolor this point. Just click on the point and select a brand new color for it. It's still a gradient, so the color will automatically try to blend with existing colors in that gradient. So this is all just one fill color. Take a look. That's what we get. We can get very complex gradients this way. Just remember, to use this feature we need some kind of container, like a shape or a text. Then select Gradient tool and change the type to Mesh. To recolor center points, just click on the point, select the new color from the wheel. You can double tap to add a new point in the mesh. Keep in mind, you can also switch direction of your gradient using those arrows at the top. A bit of experience with placing nodes like a pen tool will definitely help to understand how those curves operate. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.